Good morning everyone on a kind of windy blustery day here in New York. So this video is going to just be about some uh, new things here in New York. It's one of the great things about coming to New York, even being a New Yorker, there's always things opening, reopening, changing. Uh, the city is a constantly evolving masterpiece. Uh, just as an aside, this is a beautiful new piece of art here on this spur section of the High Line over 10th Avenue. But what we're going to be looking at today is what's known as the Moynihan Connector. So since the High Line first opened in its first section in 2009, the High Line has existed as we are standing on now only on the sections that date back to the original freight rail line created in the early 1930s. So the Moynihan Connector, which we're about to see in a minute, is really the first time of kind of extending this uh, above the street pedestrian access beyond the kind of original parameters of the old freight line. So the idea, this came from our previous governor, uh, our disgraced previous governor, of again, expanding the High Line. One section, which has yet to be built, would connect it on the other end over by Hudson Yards there toward the Javits Center. This section would allow people easier access toward 9th Avenue and Moynihan Station, the modern extension of Penn Station. So this is originally here, where this kind of part of the High Line would have ended and now we come here on the Moynihan connector. So this is brand new, just opened. Let's take a look. I am, for the record, a huge fan of this project, uh, whatever the cost ended up being, for the same reasons I love the High Line in general. Uh, I absolutely love walking the streets of New York, uh, but the least fun part of walking the streets of New York is having to wait at the intersections, being honked at by cars, just in general having to deal with all the really lousy traffic um, and general car nonsense of New York. But these type of elevated pathways, uh, which obviously is a concept that New York did not invent, um, really allow you to kind of walk the streets of New York and take it all in, but not have to stop at crosswalks, not have to worry that a you know, cab is going to come and hit you or something like that. Uh, you can just kind of enjoy the best parts of walking the streets without the worst parts of it. So I'm very excited that the state and city of New York are continuing to kind of take the model of the High Line and expand it uh, in kind of new and interesting ways. So you kind of come up here and then it turns here. I think they could have done architecturally some more interesting stuff with this little trestle here, but uh, from a purely functional perspective, it's totally fine. And I'm actually just gonna slightly double back here so you can see what this kind of looks like as a whole, looking back toward the main kind of end of the High Line and Hudson Yards over there. So what this trestle and the kind of, uh, this trunk of the Moynihan connector does is it again connects more easily without having to cross 10th Avenue or any of these streets over here over to this complex, uh, which is adjacent to Hudson Yards, but not officially part of Hudson Yards. This is uh, what's become kind of known as the Manhattan West complex. And uh, this is a series of kind of new mix of commercial and residential developments uh, that have uh, a kind of nice way of a, I guess, modern segue between kind of the older parts of Midtown near Penn Station and the kind of modern part. So now we've come into it's the signage notes, Manhattan West. So this is kind of where the new construction of the Moynihan connector ends and where you're in this kind of above ground open beautiful plaza of manhattan west this has been here for a few years at this point uh but it has been a really great and underappreciated addition to kind of the western part of midtown manhattan one of the really great things from an urban planning perspective that the city has done very well in this century is adding a lot more plazas, pedestrian space, um, and kind of all this great stuff. There's Whole Foods here, Peloton, uh, Citizens, uh, 
it's their corporate headquarters there. There's also a really nice food court in there. Plaza is open to the public. So this is uh, what they would call in New York urban planning a POPS, P-O-P-S, and that is a privately owned public space. This is uh, starting in the 19, early 1960s. The city kind of moved away from some previous models of zoning for kind of high-end development like this and started moving toward what is known as kind of incentive zoning, where you'll give developers kind of certain breaks, allowing them to build taller or wider um, in exchange for some sort of public good, usually public space in or out of the building, um, privately owned public spaces. So this is all not managed by obviously the city not the dot or the parks department this is all the kind of private property of the companies that manage manhattan west here but it's all open to the public and you can see even on a kind of blustery uh day there's still a lot of people out here enjoying it so now we're making our way toward ninth avenue here looking at the back end of the old Farley Post Office building that has been expanded into the kind of new Moynihan train hall. So we're gonna head over here. And while we're making our way to the intersection, uh, just to note the concept of Moynihan, here's one of the big office buildings here, uh, was because the original version of Penn Station was destroyed in the early to mid 1960s, there's really no way obviously to go back in time and undo that as much as many New Yorkers would like. So the idea was to kind of expand Penn Station into the old Farley Post Office building, which was built around the same time and by the same architects as the original Penn and kind of move a lot of Penn into there. So sorry, it's very noisy here. That's New York for you. So we're crossing. 9th Avenue here. So now we are in the kind of back end, closer to 9th Avenue of the Moynihan train hall. So while it may not seem much on paper, the idea of the Moynihan connector was, again, just to create a more seamless transition between the High Line, Hudson Yards, and that part of Midtown West with Manhattan West and both Moynihan, Penn Station, and all of the redevelopment that is happening around here. So... There are obviously office buildings in here. Moynihan also has a new food hall, which is kind of right below us. So the current situation of Penn Station is kind of weird. If you are traveling by Amtrak, if you are departing New York by Amtrak, you are going to depart here from Moynihan Train Hall. If you are arriving though into Penn Station to your New York, you'll arrive into the kind of older part of Penn Station. So I'll just show you, this is the food court over here. It's pretty nice, always good to have more food options in Midtown. And coming up here on the kind of main concourse of the Moynihan Train Hall, which was kind of modeled in a lot of ways uh, as a kind of an homage to the architecture of the original McKim Mead and White Penn Station with this kind of big arches and skylight and all of this um as 
everything in New York in terms of like transit centers would be really nice if all these people had actual benches to sit on. Uh, but it's definitely a much more civilized way to kind of travel out of New York City. So hope this has been kind of interesting to see.